So this is my legit video of the experiences I've had this week. So I'm going to settle down my energy, kind of. Tuesday was Andrew the Sipes and Cheryl. It's so hard because this work is so fun. What is it? Tuesday was what? Cheryl, Andrew, and the Sipes. Oh, Cheryl is so awesome. Cheryl is, we met her a few weeks ago, and I shared it in an email, I think. Maybe it was just to my mom. Uh, we knocked on her door, and we started to tell her what we are, that we're missionaries, and we have a message to share about Jesus Christ. And she um, started to get emotional. She told us about her life and things she's been through, and um, it was a moment of silence, and Elder Burgess said to her, Cheryl, we're here because we love you. And that was super awesome. And it hit me right there that, I mean, you, you say that word to people out here and you, you tell them that God loves us and you tell them that we love them, but it, it really didn't hit me till that point when I was really focused on why we're here, why I'm out here serving a mission, that I truly do love the people and I love everyone that I meet and come in contact with. And I really felt it right there. I truly felt how much I loved her and how much we had to offer. And it was such a cool experience. And so we met with her a few times. Um, what else happened? What was Wednesday? Wednesday was Bible study. Bible study. Okay, so the Coleman's. Let me tell you, am I allowed to say people's names? I use our first names. That's what it says in the mobile device standards. But I can say their name. Yeah. Okay, so Reverend Coleman and his wife. That's the last name. <laughs> Dude, I don't know his first name. George. George Coleman. That's his last name and his first name. Just use their first names. Oh, George. <laughs> like that? Yes. George yeah. is awesome. First day of my mission, May 9th. May, May 8th, I stayed with the assistant to presidents in their apartment. And on the 9th was transfers, and then I came and met Elder Burgess. You can come show yourself, Elder Burgess. Um, and we started my day on May 9th. Or not, it's cool, just sit there. And we, first appointment, we went to Bible study at George's house. And it was awesome. They just read from the Bible, and we'll take like five verses, and it takes like an hour. We just break it down, and it's awesome. And they are really fun to be around. They're really awesome. Um, so yeah, we do that every Wednesday. It helps me learn more about the Bible. I'm not too familiar with it. Um, then, Thursday. What happened Thursday? Thursday's an awkward day. What happened on Thursday, Elder? Um, Thursday. That's great. Just ripped a hole in my pants with the prairie diamond. What was Thursday? it? Thursday was food bank. Oh! Potatoes. Food bank! I don't even want to talk about that one. That was, just, that was an awful experience. Kidding. I love it. Service is great. But potatoes in the, foods, in the food bank smell absolutely awful. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, I mean, as long as you don't send pictures of the food bank. Actually, you can send pictures of the potatoes. Just Shout out to the food bank. It was awesome. Um, we should make these together so I don't have to make one. Yeah. Guess what? There's a couch right here. I mean, you've been sitting over there. Well, I can't send this. This is half of you. So, on Friday, we are visiting Kenny. He's this awesome guy from Africa. And we're sitting there, and out of nowhere, his friend, like, walks around the side. And we had met him before. Not his friend. And I guess his roommate. And we're like, hey, how's it going? And he's like, good, it's going good. Um, we asked him what his name was. He said his name was Roger. He sat down, and we talked to Kenny about church. Um... And Roger just kind of sat here quietly. And then he turns to us out of nowhere and goes, I want to be baptized. I'm like, did you hear that? He just, he just said he wants to be baptized and we didn't even say anything to him. And he goes, yeah, I want to be baptized like my whole life. I just never really got around to it. And he's like, how do I, how do, I do that? And we're like, awesome. Here's how you do it. We're going to meet with you. We're going to share with you the message of the restoration and ways we can come closer to Jesus Christ. And over time, we'll give you commitments and invitations, and we'll follow up and see if you were able to achieve the commitments and, and uh, do them. And we will have you come to church three times, and um, 
He was like, awesome, sounds good. So he showed up to church today. It was awesome. Yesterday was exchanges with the zone leaders. And that was really cool. I learned something that was really awesome. Uh, I A lot in the mission field I've seen out here, there will come times where in our day, we just have, we'll have empty time. And we've already done comp study. We've already done 12 week. We've already spent time finding people. And I just felt like, like I didn't, I, something was missing. I couldn't quite figure out what it was. And Elder Clegg was with me for exchanges. And he, he said to me, Elder Newbold, in my personal study today or yesterday, um, I learned that time is a tool. And I sat there in silence and I kind of thought about it and really came to realize how powerful that statement is, that time really is a tool. Um, and I've been pondering that the last two days. And we have been getting into using our resources to the best of our ability. Um, our mission is a smartphone mission and so we are allowed to post on social media and I hadn't done that yet and Elder Clegg was walking me through the steps on how I can do it and what the guidelines are and I made my first post and it was really cool to see that by being here, being at the church, being at a McDonald's connected to Wi-Fi, I can share an inspired message that I have thought about and prayed about and feel like people need to hear. And people all around the world have the opportunity to hear that message. And so I started to realize the resources that I have and instead of frequently filling time, I've been trying to productively use time. And so instead of looking at your time and being like, oh, we have all this empty space, we failed. Stop for a minute, say a prayer, and figure out what the Lord needs you to do. Because as we start to align our wants with the Lord's needs, we are on the straightest path we can possibly be on, and it makes things so much easier. So that was really awesome. Um, today, Roger came to church. That was a great experience. He loved it. Um, what else was super awesome this week? Everything is just so awesome. Something happens, and I just I get so excited, and I write it down in my journal. And then like three days later, I forget because something else has happened. And it's just, it's just everything that happens so amazingly out here. You My hair is too short. Okay. Kenny blessed the sacrament. He did. That. that was That's awesome. Sick. That was a really cool experience. Sorry, this is another long video. I've, I'm awful at this. I'll get better. I like how I said I'm going to make a video so that it's shorter than them reading a, a, an email, but... Uh, it's been 10 minutes. It's, yeah, it's been 12, 10 minutes. Whatever. Plus the other one. Yeah. Sure. Ooh, I can pause it. Did you know that? All right. So this is the last thing I want to share with you. Um, there was a Zone conference we had a couple months ago. Wow, a couple months ago. That is weird. I've been out so long. And the zone leaders gave a, a short little message. And something they were talking about is our mission culture. And they talked about our mission call. And they showed a video of a sister opening her mission call and reading up until Missouri St. Louis mission. And they wanted us to focus on the importance of that moment right there in our lives, realizing that we had just been called by the Lord to serve and labor in a specific area. And I thought the best way for me to constantly remember this is to just constantly read that, that those first couple words, those first, first few lines in uh, my mission call. And so I wrote down here on the first page, Dear Elder Newbold, you are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You are assigned to labor in the Missouri-St. Louis mission. And they went on to talk about how by accepting our mission call, 
The letter states that you will also be expected to devote all your time and attention to serving the Lord, leaving behind all other personal affairs. And so, I never quite knew what personal affairs meant. I just figured it meant like the worldly things, your watches, your shoes, your cars, your money, um, your video games, stuff like that. Um, so I looked up what personal affairs meant and it said matters of personal concern. So I looked up what concern meant. The words that it said was to be relevant to, to bear on, to come to, have to do with, refer, relate, be on the mind of, interest, occupy, and worry. And it hit me at that moment that personal affairs has nothing to do with the worldly items. It has nothing to do with the physical things we're actually leaving behind. But that we're leaving behind our worries, our concerns, and anything having to do with what is not along the lines of our missionary purpose, to invite others to come unto Christ. We are putting all of our trust in the Lord this is his work. We are preaching his gospel. And by accepting that letter, we're trusting that he will be here to protect us and to guide us. And so it's not about what you're leaving home um, physically, but that you, you are putting all your trust in the Lord and that we are devoting all of our time, our faith, and our testimonies to those that we meet and those that we serve and helping them come closer to Jesus Christ. Um, I love you. I really do. God loves you. Elder Burgess loves you. And I'm so happy that you read my emails, some of you, and you're watching this video. And that's awesome. Sorry it's long again. Um, I hope you have an amazing week. Email me any questions you ever have about the mission field. And please email me any missionary experiences that you have because I love to hear them. I love you so much. Don't forget who you are. Always pray and thank God for everything you've been given. Um, I love you. Don't forget to stay super mega dope. You wanna end that bad boy? Yeah. <laughs>